Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks. And today I want to show you how to remove red color cast out of the skin in Photoshop. Now, a lot of times if you have a subject that is wearing red or hot pink or magenta, you're going to get some color casting in the skin and it can look really not very flattering. So I'm going to show you a really easy way to remove that. Now I'm going to be working with this image here because she's wearing a hot pink jacket and it did reflect a color cast into her cheek right here and her chin. Let's zoom in so you can get a really clear look at what we're going to be working with here today. So let's take a close look and now you can see even better that pinkish red chin that's reflecting from the inside of her jacket here and on her cheek. We're going to try to take that out to make it look more realistic and natural in the skin tones. So to do that, let's come down to the bottom right hand side and we're going to create a new adjustment layer by clicking this circle that's half black and half white. And we're going to choose hue saturation. Now from there, here is the color drop down menu. Right now it says master. You're going to click down and we're going to select reds. Now we're going to take the hue slider, which is the first one, and we're going to drag that all the way to the right. And it's going to look kind of funky, kind of weird, I know, but we're going to change that in just a minute. Now from there, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom right here where you see this double slider. You're also going to see it looks like four white kind of tick marks down there. Put your cursor right in the middle, click, and we're going to drag this over to the left. And you can see as I'm dragging this, some of that funkiness in our picture is disappearing. And what it's doing is it is focusing more on those red magenta tones that it is seen in our image. So you can see as we bring this down, the highlighted areas are still this jacket that we know was that bright pink. So we can see that that's kind of targeted. We can also see the lips, which are a pinkish color. Those are very targeted. But if you look right here on the chin and the cheek where we were focusing on before, it's also targeting those areas now too. It's kind of bringing in that area on the skin that had those reds and pinks. I might bring that this down just a little bit. So again, I'm at these, these two color bars that are down at the bottom and I'm just clicking in the middle and I'm dragging it slightly to the left and I'm paying attention to the skin and where those red areas were that we want to get rid of. So that looks good right about there. Now from there, I'm going to go back up to this hue slider that we changed before and I'm going to click it and I'm going to slowly start bringing it back to the left now. As we do that, you're going to see that the red areas are starting to change. So you can see her jacket now is starting to change like an orange and the skin is starting to change. It's starting to eliminate some of that magenta. Now, we don't want to get it to, I, I would recommend not going down too far because we can always readjust that later. And as I get down, I'm still seeing some of those pinks. So I'm going to bring it, I might bring it right to about 43 right now, but we can always change that later. And your image is going to be different than this one. So this value, don't pay too much attention to this right now. It's going to be specific to the, the skin that you're working with. Okay, so we don't want this to affect the entire image. We want it just on these areas that it was just too red. So I'm going to go to this back to this adjustment layer and I'm going to invert it by hitting control or command if you're on a Mac, I. And that's going to invert that layer and that brings that nice hot pink jacket back, but also that hot pink red skin on the chin and on her cheek. So. I'm going to brush on that adjustment we made just to those areas of the skin that were too red or pink. So let's grab a soft brush and make sure it's set to white. And with that layer mask selected, I'm going to brush over that part of the skin. And that's going to help take some of that 
pinkish color cast away. And you can see it's doing that pretty easily. Now, you can adjust this. So if you do it and you're seeing, you know, there's a lot, lot more red that's still there, what you're going to do is you're just going to increase or decrease the hue slider. So we still have this popped up, the hue, satur hue saturation. You're just going to play around with this slider until you get the skin and the amount of redness that you want in there. So you can see if we drop that down, we're getting a lot of those pinks and reds back in. But as we move it back to the right, we're eliminating just those red pink areas and we're kind of targeting just those areas there. I kind of like it just like that to get that red out. So you see there, well, there it is um, before the adjustments. And there it is with the adjustments and that just targeted and took those reds and pinks right out of the skin. I hope that you found value in this today and that you learned something you can try on your own portraits. As always, I love your likes and comments on my videos. And if you have an idea of something you would like to see in a future editing video, please leave me a comment below so that I can uh, show you what you would like to learn. Now, if you do try this out, I would love to see it. So if you're over on Instagram, make sure to mention or tag me at Cozy Clicks if you do post something over there so I can check out your work from this tutorial. And if you would like to see the written directions, you can by going to CozyClicks.com, remove red skin. Thank you so much for watching. I would love if you would subscribe to the channel. See you next time. If you'd like to join me in my new portrait editing online workshop, you can for free. You can register in the link below or by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash the workshop. Hope to see you over there.